Now to the nightlife situation in Providence. Tonight, discussion on three ordinances pertaining to nightlife safety were taken up during a public hearing. But after a lengthy discussion, city leaders say it's back to the drawing board. Iowa to Sue supporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live with a story that's new tonight. Caroline? Well, Mike and Shannon, tonight local business owners weighed in on those three proposed ordinances. One of them would require certain nighttime establishments, including bars, restaurants, and clubs, to have a video surveillance system. We just want to make sure that whenever someone wants to come to a restaurant in Providence, there is not a perception out there that it's not safe to come to Providence. After several violent incidents at or around Providence nightlife establishments in the last year, city leaders are proposing three big changes. One of them would require certain restaurants, bars, and clubs to have video surveillance. It not only makes you able to capture what's really happening, it actually gives you ability to defend yourself if you're brought before the Board of Licenses. Anthony Santuri owns the Coliseum Nightclub and is running for Providence City Council. He says he's a huge proponent of video surveillance. He has 65 cameras in his club, but he sees the downside. Problem with the video is it's very expensive. That was the concern of the Federal Hill Commerce Association. Its executive director saying in a statement, quote, this ordinance would add undue financial stress on dozens of our businesses to either add, increase, or update video systems. The amended ordinance says certain nighttime businesses must have a video surveillance system that captures the entrances and exits and any points of sale. It must be continuously functioning during regular business hours, and it should have the recording capability to store a video for seven days. The ACLU calls it an invasion of privacy for patrons. City Council President Sabina Mato says they'll review the feedback they've received. If anything happened, we want to make sure that we can go back and see if, if anything happened with any of the individuals that came into the establishment. And we're told the mayor's office is now going to review all of the new language proposed in these three ordinances and then decide whether they support them. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.